Hello everyone, my name is The Demented Salad and today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to set up a new game save file for speedrunning Resident Evil 6 on Steam. First things first, you will need to head over to the speedrun.com page for Resident Evil 6 and head over to the resources section. Here you will find the new game save file with the prelude already completed that I have uploaded, which you will need to download. This save file will not work off the bat because of how most Resident Evil games on Steam handle saves, and they are locked to your Steam ID. What we're going to do is change the file Steam ID to your own. For the purposes of this video, I will be using my friend's save file so I can correctly show you the steps involved. Once you have downloaded the file, head to the description and click on the link for hexed.it. This is where we will be editing the file. Once here, you will see a lot of numbers and a lot of zeros, which may look intimidating at first, but the process is really simple. Firstly, go to open file in the top left and locate your Resident Evil 6 save data. It is usually located on the drive you have Steam installed in, which if on your local drive is usually under program files 86, Steam, user data, your user data, 221040 and remote. Inside the user data folder, you may find multiple folders. This is all of the accounts that you have logged into on Steam, and you may need to find the correct one. It will more than likely be the only one with 221040 in it, which will be a good indicator that you are in the right place. Inside the remote folder, you'll find a file called savedata.bin. This is your Resident Evil 6 save data, and if you would like, you can back this up somewhere on your desktop so you don't lose it should you wish to continue playing on it. Open the file and you will see some new numbers have appeared on your page. Go to the second line where my mouse is and click the first set of hex code to the right of it. Once you have done this, it will be highlighted in blue. Then head over to the left side where it says 64 bit integer and select and copy the large number. Now, go to open file again and locate the file you downloaded from speedrun.com and open it. Just like before, click on the first set of hex code on the second line but instead of copying the 64-bit integer, you want to select it and then paste in what you copied before. You will now notice a chunk of the hex code has turned yellow, indicating that it has been changed. Now we're going to save the file. Go to save as, and save this somewhere you will have easy access to it, such as a folder on your desktop. This is because whenever you want to reset a new game run, you will have to delete your save and replace it with this file. You can save it as whatever name you want, I'm going to save mine as re 6 new game so I know which file it is. Once you have saved it, go to where you have just saved it to and copy the file. Then head all the way back into the remote folder via your file manager. Once here, delete the file that's already in there and paste your file in. If you renamed the file, make sure to change its name back to save data, otherwise it will not load. Now all there is to do is to open re 6 if you follow this tutorial correctly, the game should launch and load the file. If this happens, then you're ready to run Resident Evil 6 new game. Thank you guys for watching, I appreciate you all. If you guys enjoyed the video and found it informative, please make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. If you're interested, you can also follow me on my Twitch channel, which will also be in the description. I do speedruns and variety games on there. If any of you have any trouble or think I missed something, please feel free to let me know. I'm always happy to help and to learn. Happy running everyone.